this England side desperate to rediscover its best self. Well, it may not have been a vintage year for the All Blacks. The three Barrett brothers in this starting 15 for New Zealand. Oh, and in goes Papa Lee, and it's He's a in. gift. And New Zealand have been handed seven points in the fourth minute. What anticipation by the open side. You can see him flying out the line, totally legally, and there's no one on England. It's a New Zealand side, very much on the upgrade. Cody Taylor, who himself has had his problems this season on the rugby pitch, getting back to his best form. Some of the big fellas coming in, Cody Taylor's there! Has That's he got it down? And the referee says yes. New Zealand have a second try, and we've been playing eight and a half minutes. Again, you've got to say that uh, Scott... Scott Barrett is right in front... ...of the ball carrier, but it doesn't really matter, it's allowed. I think well, England are shell-shocked, the crowd is shell-shocked. Two tries, as you said, Martin, you in eight and a half minutes. Okay. Well, Cody Taylor suffered a dip in okay. form. The alarm bells ringing for England. That time is for Italic. Aaron Smith, Cody Taylor, half through. It's still there for Aaron Smith. Now Rico Ioane, and they have a third. It is so easy for New Zealand. They've now strung together six consecutive victories. And at half time at Twickenham. Free play again. Bowden Barrett. That kick pass once again in space. And look at Ioane. And Ioane's a real sprinter. He's gone, Johnny mate. May's coming across. He's gone. But May can't get there. And Ioane gets the try. This time the try, the try stands. And I think that's the game. I don't want to write England off. To Alangi, well, no chance. But again, they have took, they have torn England apart okay. with this kick pass today, and that's when kicking. Marcus Smith and Smith is through. Tries to go himself. In the end, he's cut down by yeah. his opposite number, yeah, yeah. and once again England are into yeah. the New Zealand 22, yeah. and not for the first time. Run. It's a penalty yeah. offence from New Zealand. It's got to be a card there as well. Maybe ramifications. I think you're right, Dowie. And they've got over, and it looks like they got it down. They're appealing. Well, it'll be easy to judge. It's Henry Slade. Ribbons, great offload. Now there's space for England. Now they're starting to flow. Freddie Stewart getting through Moonga. Here's Ben Youngs. On to Marco Vunapola. The tackle from Whitelock. Youngs again. Stewart! England have another, the game remains alive. The ribbons, where's that thing? Farrell in space, Stewart just carry it, hold on to that ball, that hold... Marcus Smith, out there to Curry. A crescendo. Slade, out to Porter. England are within five. The clock says we're approaching the final minute. David Ribbons. What a finish. Vunapola, who would have thought England within a matter of inches of a possible draw here. Ben Youngs up there Come to on. Stewart. Oh, yes. and the hand is up there from the referee, Renal. There is an England penalty. That's down. That's a try. What England will do, will they be satisfied with the draw? They are. Marcus Smith bars it into touch. Mathieu Reynal blows his whistle eventually for the end of the match. It is a draw, but what a remarkable draw. Unbelievable, one of the most amazing games I've seen as far as a team coming back. I don't like the way it's finished, the crowd didn't like the way it's finished. They fought their way back in, I can see why they did it, they didn't want to lose it. Well, they had lost it and they just started playing. I don't know where this England side needs to go.